So let's talk about shutter. So basically, we talk about everything um, of photography is to deal with light, just like Dijard. So we talk about uh, the lenses, um, the aperture, okay, and let's go inside. So the lenses can be changed, okay. So the lenses can be changed. So if I uh, lock this, if you don't lock it, it will become pretty hard for you to like pick it off. So let's take a little bit closer inside of this camera. Okay. So inside this camera, we got a thing called shutter. Um, if you like old school, use the um, like really, really old classic camera, we actually got a shutter inside. But uh, in fact, right now, uh, I don't think they got a, a, a shutter um, on your phone or um, in your like digital camera. Um, so basically, if you are using a really classic old um, camera, you got a film, right? behind and you got lenses and what's here called is called shutter so the film can't be exposed to light because it will like receive the exposure and change um, so you have to you know use the shutter actually like a physical shutter to shut all this light right and uh, when you like click it here the shutter just quickly really quick letting some light and close it okay um and have a shutter sound like right so that's a that's a physical shutter but uh say hey you normally we, we just use our iphone to 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 take a photo right if you look at here we don't actually got a shutter inside so everything is like really digitalized so um but you still got sensors and chips inside your phone and um we are still basically censoring the lights okay the light shooting through the lenses got inside and um there's sort of like a digital shutter uh decide how long uh, the sen the sensors will be exposed to light just like the physical shutter decide how long the film will be exposed to the light shooting in so yeah and yeah I believe when we discuss about aperture, we talk about everything is like a fraction, okay? So it's like f divided by a certain number. And um, the uh, shutter speed normally is a fraction as well. Of course, you got like a really long um, sh shutter speed, say one, two, or even you, you got like a really long time, you may just got like a 10 seconds, oh my gosh. Um, you can do that. Of course, you can do that. Uh, but normally, um, if you like, um, just take a photo, like use the auto mode, it would just be a fraction. Like, um, I in my personal experience, this is um, less than um, one divided by sixty. Okay, so it's it's really just a rule of thumb. Okay, so if the shutter time is less than 160 it will give a sort of steel image because normally it's like a quantum physics and classic physics okay everything that you observe didn't move that fast okay and even though it's move pretty fast you decrease the time that exposed and um, it will give you a pretty still image unless you want like a film something that you're really going like really fast so just rule of thumb if you like using the manual mode and you can change the shutter speed uh, normally uh, you just uh, uh, change it to less than uh, 160 uh, if you want to be like perfectly sure maybe 100th something like that and um but but if you like increase the time exposed and then close uh, you will capture motion that's a that's the concept that's pretty new 
and astonishing to me, because I think photograph is like when you take a photo, it's, it's like a still image here. But I began to realize that photography can also capture in motion. If you just change the shutter speed to a little bit longer, like shutter time to a little bit longer, and things got a little bit blurred, and that's amazing. And I think I can also use this um, kind of like a phenomenon because you got long time of exposure, you can blur things and focus some things and blur something. If you know, if I'm still here, like I'm a like a stone, I'm I'm like a mountain. I'm here, and you just ride rode a bike before me. Okay, I expose the light here and here close. So I will constantly like emit or reflect light to the camera. Okay, so it will be here. Da, 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 da. I will still shooting or reflecting light all the way to a camera. And I'm a mountain, right? I just uh, constantly shoot or reflect the green color to your camera. So you can see a really, when you actually get that photo, you'll get a really steel mountain at the behind and a really blurred, you know, a biker riding a bike um, blurred, like motion blur before you. And I want to use that in my digital art because I just recently learned about photography. And I think because you just play with the light, most of the things are kind of connected and I think it's amazing. So yeah, uh, if you want to capture motion, you can just play around with the shutter speed. The longer the exposure, uh, the, the more blurred that you can capture. But if you want to like a perfect still image, uh, you need to decrease the exposure time. Okay, and um, yeah. Thanks.